for three, knocks it down. The Dons are going to the championship round. I'm Leslie Theodore, the Director of Women in Leadership and Philanthropy at USF. This is the um, launch of our Women Lead From Here speaker series, and tonight we are featuring Coach Jennifer Az. It is such an ex exciting time to be at the University of San Francisco. Do you guys feel that? It's just in the air, and as much as we're making progress with you know, facilities and all the change and everything that's happening here, it still boils down to having the right people. So the support that's in this room from the trustees to Father Fitzgerald, you're amazing. You're so supportive of our program of athletics. And we all know that leadership starts at the top. So, you know, to have you and then Scott Sidwell, who came in here a year after we did and went through so many challenges, just like we did getting things done and really has had a vision for success in the athletic department. And now also kind of making that, that blend between athletics and academics and having excellence in both, because I believe that you can have excellence across the board and you know one of the things that Scott always tells our athletes is if you cut corners in the classroom chances are you're going to cut them on the court too so we're establishing excellence in both places I can't think of a better place to lead from than San Francisco and the University of San Francisco so um, I think there are three important things when it comes to leadership there are three things that that I want to share with you and the first is you have to find your passion I think when you find your passion in life you can become a leader you have to have that and you have to find it. And I think you can find it at any point in your life. The second, once you find that, then you have to have a vision. You know, I've, we've got two great visionaries sitting right here in Father Fitzgerald and Scott. You have to find your vision. You have to see yourself successful before it, it can ever happen, right? So you find your passion, you've got to see it, have a vision. And then the last thing that I want to share with you, I used to say handling failure because we're all going to have failure. Um, but is embracing obstacles because I think those things that are put in your life that knock you down that you can barely get back up again you want to quit um, those are things that make us better and I, if I think about the people in my life that I'm the most drawn to have faced the most obstacles I think they're the most interesting people so before I continue I just want to recognize our staff so associate coach Blair Hardick who's been here the entire time going into year six um, Nikki Turner who is new director of ops who's doing a Oh, okay, here, have Blair stand up. And Blair, by the way, so a lot of you have asked about our international recruiting, and that's been Blair. I mean, just to open up those doors for us, and you know, she does a tremendous job. I always say she gets more done in day than anybody that I know, um, but does, does a really great job with our team and, and our players. So, Associate Head Coach Blair Hardick. <laughs> Nikki Turner, stand up. Nikki Turner came to us from uh, Fullerton and has fit right in, and our players love her. Um, she's able to tell them the tough things too though, so she, you know, she doesn't let them get away with anything. Um, but she's been fantastic to work with and we're glad you're here, Nikki. Nikki Turner. <laughs> Chanel Stiers, Associate Head Coach. So Chanel, um, I always say she has the Midas touch. Uh, and everywhere she's been has won and she's a tremendous um, developing our post players, working with our team. She's got a real gift for kind of being able to be super hard on someone and give them a hug the next second. Like she knows exactly when to be positive and exactly when to, Taylor's shaking her head, tell him, get him in line, tell him what to do. Um, but she's fantastic to work with every single day. So Chanel Stiers. <laughs> Stand up Paige. Pa I'm really proud of Paige. So Paige transferred to us and we talked about, you know, recruiting and then having the funds to recruit um, makes a huge difference, obviously in a program. and. Paige transferred to us from Missouri and was able to sit out a year. And actually, when I met her on a recruiting trip, I said, we need her now because she can make a difference even being out with her personality, her presence, her work ethic, everything. So very proud of Paige. She had an outstanding two years with us, and you know we ended up in the NIT. So Paige Speaks. <laughs> Taylor Proctor, stand up. Um, I told... So I'm, I'm happy tonight because of Taylor, and here's why they know this. Like, I have a bad day if they have a bad practice or a bad workout. I have a good day if they have – and she had probably, I would say, her best skill workout that she's had since she's been at the university. She's become a real leader for our team. I mean, she's always been talented, but um, to see her now continue to grow as a person and a player, I mean, I can't wait 
for you guys to see her play this year. So Taylor Proctor, senior. So it's great to have events like this um, to come support Coach AZ and you know my former teammates and also to be you know recognized as alumni of the university. So I'm just so glad to be back on campus for you know an event like this. It's great to have Paige back. We missed her. Thank you.